ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. Good morning, East Texas. I'm Dawn Rhodes and this is your TylerPaper.com morning news update. With the Dallas Mavericks season opening game still a month away, the basketball team's outspoken owner Mark Cuban will be seeing a different kind of court this week. The government's insider trading case against Cuban goes to trial today in federal court in Dallas. Cuban is expected to testify and experts say the verdict could come down to whether the jurors find the billionaire and a regular on ABC's reality TV show Shark Tank to be likable or smug. Cuban is accused of using insider information to dump his stock in a small internet search company in 2004 just before the shares fell in value. He avoided $750,000 in losses and the Security Exchange Commission wants Cuban to give up the money and pay civil penalties. Here's the rest of this morning's top stories. This is AP News Minute. Fire officials in Southern California say nobody could have survived Sunday's crash of a small plane. The plane hit an airport hangar in Santa Monica after flying there from Idaho. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says the Senate will reject an emergency spending bill from the Republican-led House. The bill would delay funding for parts of the Affordable Health Care Act by a year. And with no spending bill in place, parts of the government are set to shut down Monday night. The trial over BP's response to the 2010 Gulf of Mexico oil spill resumes Monday. The latest phase of the trial is expected to focus on BP's efforts to cap the gushing well. And NASA is preparing to launch a 3D printer into space next year in hopes that when astronauts need a spare part or tool, they'll be able to print one up. Matt Small, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This morning's featured focus in on Dot Me Photo Gallery was taken by our Susan Wells at the All Saints Episcopal School Assembly for Macy Drury, the 2013 Miracle Mile Child. All the photos are available for purchase. Visit focusinon.me by clicking the photo link at the top of any TylerPaper.com page. Here's your weather forecast. Well, good morning, everybody. A, a pretty quiet day and next couple of days actually coming together for us. We've got a, a stray shower or two, which will be possible across the far eastern counties of East Texas this morning. That'll include folks uh, Harrison County, Marion County, and then points further even than that to the east. 78 or so today by lunchtime. Our wind's going to be light throughout the day. It will carry that into the afternoon hours as well, of course. High temperatures today about 84. Stray shower possible uh, area-wide this afternoon, but uh, again, we're going to run those percentages at about 20%, so most folks should stay dry. As far as the rest of the three-day planters concerned, we'll keep it at about 86 on Tuesday. Clouds will be kind of uh, mixed in with some sunshine. A bit more cloud cover on Wednesday and a low-end chance of a shower Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures are going to stay below the 90 degree mark for the next couple days, so that's good news. Also, pretty stout looking front coming into place by this weekend. More weather details coming a little bit later on. Thanks for watching and look for more news updates throughout the day.